so far before i even gather anything up you can see on the one account we got three grand the other account 18 so about five thousand so far on ebay and amazon went nuts as well our goal was 100k just on ebay in the last 90 days not sure if we're going to get there but we're going to get darn close we got 31k on this one 52k on this one and you can see how much sales are spiking on both of these in the last few weeks what's up guys welcome back into the millennial profit my name's adam and i'm a full-time reseller if you're new here i show you all different kinds of ways to make money so if you like money hit that subscribe button Today we've got another what sold video, so I'm going to show you everything that sold from over a massive weekend of sales, how much I paid for everything, where I got it, and at the end of the video, we will get into the total profit I made on everything. All right, let's show you everything that sold. We've actually sold over like 10 things since I just showed you that graphic just on eBay and a little on Amazon as well, but here's everything that's going out. We got to get to packing, so we're going to have to just go with all this, so this is what the numbers are going to be based on, but I'm sure I will sell a lot more before the end of this video as it's going to take me four or five hours to pack. This is all flipping from zero stuff, so you have to watch that series to see what all that sold for and where I got it. Um, over here, we've got these Christmas Crocs that we got on the Crocs website. Those were anywhere between like $20 and $25, depending on the clearance events that we called out in bread and butter. And selling those for $50 to $60, depending on the size. Then we've got these Lightning McQueen Crocs that were $70 on Amazon when they were restocking a bunch of those. That is obviously a volume play. We actually sold all these for $115, and I still have quite a few left. And then we've got these Echo Crocs that were in the two for 50 Crocs clearance event. Shout out to Attaboy for calling those out. So those for $60 a pop. We got this LeBron poster here that I got from one of my suppliers for like a dollar. Sold it for 15. These I think Kraken called out in the group. These were like $12.88 at Walmart. Getting $35 a pop on Amazon for those. Group, these were $15 Crocs boots and sold these for $43 on eBay. And then you can obviously tell I have a lot of Crocs boxes. And those are all of these. So I've got a bunch of bagged ones of those, bunch of box ones of those. These were $24 on Amazon and selling these back on Amazon for $60 to $65 a pair. I actually just found, actually, let's show you guys. I'm so pumped because I thought I only had size 11s in the, these boxes. Somehow I found over here, I've got two boxes of all terrains that come in this so i can sell them on amazon because they come in the bag so you either need the box or the bag crocs come both ways so i found like 20 more of those and i'm the only one on the listing so i'm getting 65 a pop for those bad boys and i might raise it even more but pretty excited because most of those are size 11s there's a couple of size nines and size eights but the size 11s are all mine on amazon i've got no competition and those things are flying Anyway, sorry for that little sidetrack. I'm not going to open the shoe boxes up because I'm afraid this tower is going to fall. So we're just going to point the camera at them. Uh, we got these online Kohl's clearance event, $22. Sold those for $65. Any that have this tag on it are from the Kohl's clearance event in store. So an additional 50% off. These Air Max Bellas were $25. Sold those for $65. On um, these new balances were $22.50. Sold those for $60. These Air Force Ones, these are women's. These were actually in a finish line clearance event that we called out in the group. Those were $25. Sold those for $75 on eBay. All of this is eBay unless I specify like the Crocs were Amazon. Then we've got these Converse's that were from Sassense. Those were like 30 bucks and I sold them for 90 plus the eBay authenticity shipping. Those are some like boots actually. Um, these that were 50% off. So $16 for these hardened step backs, sold those for 70. And then these, I think Attaboy called these out again. These were on Amazon for like 20 bucks, sold those for 55. Nice volume play. This style always sells super fast. Two more sets of boots. This was an absolute steal. This is actually just a couple of months ago. I don't know why they were clearancing these out for $22 a piece, 70 bucks a pop on each of those. Next, we got these Air Max women's, same sale as these. Um, these were $32 and sold those for $75. And then under, we got some boots. I got these Wolverine boots actually online. I called out a bunch of those boots the other day and they're already selling for me. Those were between like 30 and $50, depending on the style. This was a lower end one. So these were like 35 bucks and sold them for 90. And then same sale actually on these. Um, these were $35 and sold those for 90 as well. Next, coming on over here to the hats. If you guys have watched my past videos, you've seen me sell a bunch of these uh, upside down Lakers hats. Got that in an online deal. Those were $10, can't give up all my sources, but took stock on those and I think I have like 10 left. I have them up there, I had them in a box, but you know, we had to uh, just take the box and use it for something else. So we just have those left, but I had it in a box about that size. Anyway, selling those for 28 bucks a pop. 
We got this Mavs hat here from Burlington for $7.99. Got $26 for that. Got this Predators hat for $4.50 at TJ Maxx. Sold that for $25. We got this Ohio State 47 brand hat for $8, sold it for $20. Four bucks, a TJ Maxx for this really cool um, NFL draft Vegas hat, sold that for like $26. Got this Cleveland Indians hat for $1 at Marshalls. How do you pass that up? Got $18 for that. These are all wholesale hats. I've wholesaled a bunch of these out to the group as well. So these I had like nothing in. Um, sold 16, 16, and then 30 on the three flat bills, 30 each. Random pallets, these uh, next three came in. Um, so they would have been a dollar or two when I used to get some good hat pallets. Uh, so this one for 16, 15, 20. And then lastly, shout out to Delco hooking me up with some wholesale hats, uh, $12 a pop on each of these. Um, I got 34 for this one, 30 on each of the Miami ones, um, 35 on the 49ers and 30 on the Steelers. And then lastly, we got the $5 hat sale hats. Um, so this one for like 22, 22 and 20 on this one and then we've got these that were from walmart's 75 percent off clearance last year so 250 a hat on each of these got 17.99 a pop for those and then this one i got from i think fanatics a while back would have been a buck or two when they were just really clearancing stuff out this one was really never going for that much but i still got 17 dollars for it you can't be a new era flat bill snapback for less than a couple bucks. This I got from that thrifted store that I bought out uh, like a month ago. Sold it for 20 bucks. We got this. I think that was actually from another wholesale deal that I did. Um, and I sold that for $28. This one I got from the hat sale, but they were also clearancing out some of their uh, clothing as well. Um, this was just $8 for this sweater. And I sold it for $38. Then we got this Dayton jacket for $6.99 at TJ Maxx. I can't believe they'd be selling it for that cheap. Sold it for $30. I sold a North Face hoodie for $43. It was $17. I'm going to throw it over there because I don't want to forget and accidentally pack that one up. Uh, we got these Gym Sharks here that were from that Gym Shark sale that we caught out. These were like $3 leggings. Um, and I sold them for $25 a pop. We got this Pabst Blue Ribbon. Christmas sweater that I got for free with Kohl's cash. Sold that for 30 bucks. Next, we got two Cowboys scarves that were in Fanatics pallets a while back when I had a hook up there. Those were less than a dollar each per unit and sold those for 20 bucks a pop. Got some beanies here. This was from Fanatics for a couple bucks. Sold it for 16. Um, this one I got in a hat pallet a while back. Can't even remember what I paid for it, but sold it for like 15. And then sold this one for like 22 on Mercari. It was $7.99 at TJ Maxx. Another Kohl's find here, $12, so really $6 on this polo. Um, sold it for $20. Bucks. This was from that same wholesale deal as that. There was some new stuff in there. I got $29 for these sweatpants. These were a volume play that I found online. These were 5 bucks. sold them for $20. These were just random pallet things. So we got some of these bows, this. So literally have like nothing in those all these years later. I got $12 on Mercari for that. And then got $10 for the lot of three on that. This I actually got with my Kohl's cash. I bought two of these. Whenever I get Kohl's cash and I can find decent deals on their website, I'll buy electronics because they sell fast. So this one for $35. Next, we're jumping into the undies. Again, I don't have many of these left. They are size small, so they're moving slower than the other ones, but I probably have less than like five or 10 left. So these for 20 bucks. Again, that's for my best call out ever. Those were $5. Shout out to Kraken for calling these bad boys out. These things have been moving really well. These were 15 bucks, selling them for 35 a pop. Um, and then these were $12, selling those for 30, 35 a pop. Then we got some urinal cakes under them. If you guys remember, I picked those up at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Next, we got this women's Iowa State hoodie here. This was from one of my local stores that has a lot of embroidered stuff super cheap that was like a dollar 20 sold it for 20 dollars we got these that i've explained a bunch in the past five bucks in a local deal sold it for 20. i got this polo here from uh, burlington actually in texas 10.99 and sold that bad boy for 30. and then we got this i think chorn gets called this sale out um, in the group these were five dollar urban outfitters shirts this is christina aguilera sold that one for like 20 bucks Next, we got these Adidas Tiro pants that were from the Academy sale. Those were $12.50 online. We cooked that sale like crazy. That was like seven, eight months ago um, and sold those for $35. This is from the East Bay going out of business sale. 
Um, these were like $15 for some Adidas wide receiver gloves, so those for $35. Next, we got all these Gridge trains here that were from the 75% off Walmart clearance, so those were five bucks. I sold those for 25 a pop for all those. We got a couple bobbleheads here. The Brutus box is messed up, but I mentioned that and pictured it in the description, so we should be good there. We sold this one for 40 and we sold AV with his like mohawk cut. We sold that one for 25 Those were from Fanatics Pallets as well. Those were less than $2 a unit. Next, we got this Colts backpack here and this uh, Jets guy. Those are from local online auctions, so less than a buck a piece when I used to buy stuff by the case. Sold him for 16 sold that one for 18 just kind of trying to get rid of all that stuff. Uh, we've got a Steph Curry basketball here that was from another pallet a while back. That was less than a dollar a unit, and I'm still getting 16 a piece for those. This was actually from that thrifted store that I bought out as well. Um, sold it for 30 bucks. And then actually one of the things that sold as I was gathering everything up, not just one of these, some guy bought 10 of these bad boys, 18 bucks a piece, so $180 each. Those were from the $5 hat sale as well. This is one of my biggest flips I've ever had. Last year at Ollie's, when I was in Tennessee, me and my dad were just looking around, and I saw this guy. They had it marked down to like 40 bucks. And I sold this for $200 for this pirate ship. Apparently it's one that they haven't remade in a while. And inflatable was aged really well. And this bad boy was not even open. Then we got this Triceratops, my last one of those. Um, that was 75% off of 89, I sold it for 70. We got this little Mickey house here for 50% off. So about 1950 and sold that for 50 on eBay. Next, we got this at Kroger after last Christmas. Those were like six or seven dollars, selling them for 38 on Mercari and 40 on eBay. And then we've got three Rudolphs that sold. Those were all from the 50% off uh, clearance event at Big Lots just a couple of months ago that we caught out in the group. 2250 on those and selling those for 55 a pop. Those are easy ships. Hold on, before we show you the packages, I totally forgot to uh, gather up all the Ohio State stuff. I was leaving that for last, all these hats and the shoes. So uh, I just gathered all that up. Um, we sold these that were $40 at Burlington. This is actually from Flipping from Zero, so I'm gonna go put it with those after. I uh, sold those for 85 plus the shipping. And then all of these beanies were all from that $5 hat sale and all sold for $20 each. These two were also from the $5 hat sale, sold that one for $20. This is a youth hat and still got $18 for it. So now I'm going to package everything up and I'll get you guys the final numbers. All right, here's everything going out. I wish I could have shown you a huge stack, but there was nowhere to put all this stuff. So this is all of it packed up and about to go in two cars onto the post office. That was a really long day of packing, but definitely worth it. Let's run down those final numbers. On eBay, we sold 121 items for $5,060. On Amazon, we sold 18 items for $1,086. And on Mercari, we sold five items for $119. For a total of 144 items sold for $6,265 in gross sales. And I sold tons more while I was packaging up, but we're just counting in everything that I showed you. Now, as always, to get our total net profit, we need to take out all of our costs. So take out our cost of goods sold of $2,098, our shipping of $806, and our fees of $718 to give us a total net profit of $2,643. Absolutely wild to do over $6,000 and honestly might have touched 7,000 after everything that sold while we were packaging up. I mean, while I was calculating these numbers, I sold like five more things, but I wasn't going to add those in because I didn't have time to film all that stuff. Like I'm trying to get to the post office. It's like four o'clock right now and I already feel bad for being late. Anyways, though, all glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gives me the strength to do this every single day. And I'm so blessed to be able to share it with all of you. If you heard me mention a couple times in this video, Bread and Butter, that is my personal Discord community and reselling cook group. Quarter four is coming to a close, but it has definitely been worth it having back-to-back $6,000 gross weekends. Keep on hustling, guys, because January is usually a pretty solid month of sales as well. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.